What can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? A little vanilla and sprinkles? Or kinkier? Wax? Maybe electrosex? Zappies? Power implants? Hmm? Nah. You'll feel us everywhere. It's fun. So, see you on the other side, baby. Huh. So they don't actually have... It's like, oh, it's like a VR thing. Jeez. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. What's going on, it's Johnny, and welcome to episode number five of Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Last left off, we came back and talked to Victor, and then we uh, paid our debt off. We owed him $21,000. Been uh, sticking around with the, the game. Uh, in the very beginning, Victor gave us uh, some new cyberware, and uh, it was $21,000. Um, so, we're starting off right in his shop. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. All right. Oh, yeah. The guy who... You know. Uh, the guy with the smoking crotch? That's one way to put it. Anyway, just calling to say I transferred the funds. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and ask him if he's doing alright. Well, they managed, uh, to save your, um, you know. Yeah, as much as they could. I'm pretty sure that's Jesse Cox. He's I could be completely famous. wrong, though. Anyway, once it heals, I'll get a better model. I could be wrong though. Better check the warranty. Uh. Mm -hmm. Just uh, check the warranty next time. <laughs> Will do. Take care, man. All right. So let's see how much money he gave us. We had. If you didn't watch that last episode, towards the end there. Um, I find like a little like question mark and I went up to it and this dude started running towards me with his hands on his crotch and he said Uh, can you take me to a A dock and I said yeah, of course and so I did it and he paid me and He did well, he couldn't pay me right away, but he's gonna transfer the funds to me and then now he just did so Um Yeah, that's where we are Okay That's what we're gonna do today I think we are going to go ahead and look at it. We have per one perk available. Mm, really not 1000% sure what I want to do here. Like we're six of 20 here. Let's see what reflex is like. Actually, let's get our body up because I know we had to get um, something to do with a gun, I think is what it, what it was. We have one perk a point. Perk a point. I don't know why I said it like that. During combat, increases max health. I need to like focus on a build, is what I really need to do. Like I need to focus on Um Just figuring out what I want to do here. Increases strong attacks, combo attacks. Oh my god, I'm not one thousand percent sure. Let's go to reflexes. We need to figure out, like, something... Oops, wrong button. Um, can't do it right now, which, which kind of sucks. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I, we've been using a lot of pistols, so let's go ahead and throw it in that. Our handguns are level 3, and our assault rifles are level 4. But once we can do... Some stuff over here that's going to allow us to... One, reload faster and have less recoil. That's what we're going to really do because there's just so much recoil in some of these assault rifles, which is which is fine. Um, but yeah, we got to focus on that. But I actually do want to do this main mission and try to do a couple more missions with the main quest line just to see how far we can get into it. Um, I don't want to rush it by, by any means, but I don't want to not do it either so a few episodes here and there lurking around the city doing side quests then we'll hop in and do a couple of main quests Absolutely. things like that so that's where we are 470 
Oh, my bad, my bad. Well, you see what had happened was I went the wrong way. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go like this. Okay. And uh, we're gonna go like this. Relax, will ya? We're gonna go like this. So glad they put these freaking fast travels around. Because, uh, we need them. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of freaking shit. Oh, man. Okay, now we can grab our car. And, uh, head up there. I just love this, how the car just comes straight to me. It's just... The sheer amount of quality in this game is outstanding. It really is. For the PC. Mm, what is this? Is that a, uh... One of those one things? Better get out and do this really quick. Down here. I do it. I hit the wrong guy. I keep doing that. Where I hit the freaking R button on shit that I'm trying to pick up. I don't want this. Alright? I don't. I don't want that. I want, uh... This? What's this one? Is this one, is this one better? Ooh, it is. It is. Um... Put this one on, and we're gonna put this stuff back on this one. And is it this this one's way better than the one we had. I didn't even know that. Uh, is there any guns in here, assault rifle wise, that's better than what we have? No. Couple shotguns. We have a couple of these. We can't use them until 22 to 24, and uh, I just don't want to do that at the moment. All right. This up, that up, it's some gold chain. Alright, was that it? Oh my. Jesus. Bottoms up, how it feels to be on top. Was it, just, was it only these three things, really? I expected a lot more, to be honest. It was a champagne bucket. The sheer amount of like just junk in this game is insane to me. Okay, let's jump back in the car and uh, head to the information. Go to Liz's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 and 6 a.m. Not sure what time it is. Is there like a clock around here? I don't think so. We'll figure it out whenever the time comes. I think we can like wait or whatever and. Uh, Figure it all out. Man, turning in this game? Not a good time. God, dude. Relax. Ugh. Alright, we're coming up on it now. I can't wait till we get, like, new cars and all that. Hopefully we're allowed to, um, customize our cars and our, like, garages and our apartments and stuff in DLC because that would make this game even more amazing. Okay. We gotta go wait. Um, I think we can do that within... How did I do that last time? Was it, uh... There was a way I did it, but I can't remember how I did it.
Okay, right here. Skip time. Uh, skip, skip time. How long do you want to wait? Maybe 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, go 7. And that should put us up to 6.53. Ooh, look at this freaking. Ooh. Oh my god. Bruh. That looks crazy. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Can I interest you in a preem BD? Brain dance? What's good? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, turn stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Spoke? Damn. That's Let's do it. I get it. I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm just fine. Thanks. Go ahead with your bad so. self. <laughs> Not my type, but we'll go keep, keep going. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, let's go to the area. What is this? Tomato juice. Oh, depends what you're into. Maybe you can tell me about it over a drink? Hey, another round over here, Stat. So, He's like, now. <laughs> what can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? A little vanilla and sprinkles? Or kinkier? Maybe electrosex, zappies, <laughs> power implants? Hmm? Nah. Here's what I want. You and your girlfriend wearing high heels, blindfolds, and big gags. Hmm, no problem. You buying or renting? Renting. How much? Relax. It'll go on your tab. Think I got just the thing for you, too. This one's me and Candice. You'll feel us everywhere. It's fun. So, see you on the other side, baby. Huh. So they don't actually have... It's like, oh, it's like a VR thing. That's kind of cool. Soup. I, 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 I have connections. The real feels out of control, though. I mean, I'm still feeling that dragon tail bite. You know. That's nuts, man. Like, they're all just, like, in the VR thing. I wonder what it looks like. I'm, kind of, I'm actually kind of curious. Who are you? Are you the girl? Hey. Get you something. Hmm. Uh, does he still work here? Something hey, so shut up. Work on it. Curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Till... Let me guess. It didn't last? 
No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big Boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. And biz booms to this day. Okay, uh, we're looking for Evelyn. E looking for Evelyn. Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Uh, a big tipper. A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. What's up, girl? Mm. Evelyn Parker. Yeah, I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular Drunk. reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Okay. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Nothing's wrong. Really. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. And that guy's hella pal. He's having a the best trip of V? Are you freaking What are you freaking uh doing yoga? Ah, uh, still feel like shit. Little head of the dog? You want yeah, trouble? Yeah. Give me a hey, sec. We weren't finished. I'm coming. I'm waiting. Exploring, all right. Oh god damn, hello. Dex had a load to say about you. Listen. Called you professional. Effective. I'm just making sure and trustworthy. Everything's fine. Also, it's a hologram. Uh, I hope he wasn't overselling. Don't know who him well. Haven't worked together long. Let's just cut to the chase. I'm the best. I don't care what Dex thinks. V? I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best. And I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. 
Mm hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Yoronobu's got an army around him in my bed. Seriously, he's my target. You don't know Asuka? Arasaka? I'm waiting. Hey, Look, shut up. If you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away its secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Cool. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance it? supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No. I understand. It can be a very you, useful tool. Like anything else? Yeah. Good for uh, analyzing details, to. human perception, do I even can boosted. It. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest of member of your crew. It'll be just like you said. Try not to forget. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> it was her. Hey, uh, that's Sorkin Bay right there. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Uh, impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. Love that. All right. Talk to me dirty like that again. Compiled your BDF. Love it. What do you think? Will it do? Yeah, she'll do. Pretty I mean, well. yeah, it'll do. But yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. 
Go ahead with your badass. Oh my god. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? We're all brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. All right. Sure, why not? Put me in here. Mm. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Uh, let's just do it. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. All this is that one shit. I hate this. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Okay. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Jeez. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. You could've warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Okay. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Full scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Okay. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Flat simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in. I like this. It's cool, but 
We sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Present holds the key to rewind or brain dance. The longer you hold, the faster it goes. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You don't need to Hey. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay. On you go. Okay. Right here. Okay. Bold sections can attract. They indicate and scan the clue. The clue will be highlighted. The duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap in the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Okay. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Uh, switch between available brand new layers. Press. Uh, Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Okay. Down, everybody. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now! Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. Oh, it's the dude. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Rewind until the CCTV screen appears. Okay. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough. You can exit. It's pretty cool. Something I don't think I'm, I'm not like big into it though. <gasps> Personally. Yeah, it's impressive, right? 
Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kompeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kompeki? Oh, I thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Let's Got go. It. You ready? Little T bug, second. man. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Hell, man. Then you <clears> should <throat> perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. To... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change, and he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Okay. Mm, all right. You seem tense. A moment. Yeah. Here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Manual details of special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. It was on the corner. Yep. Could damage it otherwise. I thought to go back. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Okay, scan for thermal clues to find the relic. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. There it is, I think. I think I found it. Damn it. Right there, I found it though. Right. Let's go. Grab the heat sig, 
Matches the spec in the docks. You okay. know who's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We've got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Let's go. Took it a lot longer than I wanted it to. We get to go back and forward. It's a whole thing. So. Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash and your data. You were never here. Okay. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Wait. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. A little frame droppage there. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Okay. Talk to Evelyn. Let's walk. You got it. I can I get anything from this little area in this room? Well, what do you think? Wait, what? Now? Well, don't worry. Won't do anything to get you in trouble. But, uh, I hope to see you again. Depends. On what? Whether you come alone or with the tag along, like a net runner. No runners. I promise. Shoot your shoot. shot, son! Shoot or shoot! Oh, my guy better be getting that. Uh, so what now? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer is the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. I think you might do it. Now go. I mean... I need a few words with Judy. I mean, if you think about it, like... This entire game, this entire city is literally based off just doing what you have to do to get ahead, and I mean... You can't really fault me for freaking trying to... You know... Get ahead. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Yeah, I'm gonna look around before I leave, so... Don't mind me. Now go. Hey. Words with Judy. I'm working on it, okay? Alright, we gotta call Dex. I can't do it until I get out of here, I guess, huh? How things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What Oop. now? Now we do what? the job I hired you to do, it's grabbing to that say. vital Sweet, ship. Sure, okay? We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. Right, See you there. Right. Great. Be there in no time. Mm, all right. See you, Mr. V. 
All right, let's go ahead and keep looking around here. Ooh. This place gotta have something. Oops. Tell the girls at the door. They will take care of it. Alright. No, it, it's my friend. Come on in. Alright. I think we're gonna head to I think we're gonna end it right here. Um I don't know. I don't know if we should freaking work with Dex or if we work for or work for Evelyn. Um I don't know. it's a big decision in the game right here, I think. So I think I don't know, I just need a second to really think about what we're gonna do here, so I think we're gonna end right here, and, uh, yeah, this is episode number five of the Cyberpunk 2077 campaign, uh, gameplay walkthrough, whatever you wanna call it. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. Always, guys, I'm Mr. Johnny, I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Cyberpunk 2077, and the next episode will be starting the heist, so, see you guys soon. Bye.